What is up and welcome back everybody, Potato Slayer 3 here. Today we're checking out one of those uh, interesting simulator games called Brewmaster. And in this one, it's kind of like the name. Uh, we brew some delicious beers and IPAs and probably a couple other things. Right now, we're just playing through the tutorial, um, kind of see what this game's all about. And we have to uh, brew our first beer here. This is a topic that's kind of interested me uh, for a while now. Uh, it seems like it'd be quite fun to brew some of this stuff. And there's actually have to remove the lid here. That would probably help fill up the water. Fill up the pot with 21 liters of water. So let's watch it here. That is filling quite slow. Looks like we have a watch that we can accelerate time with and I went a little too far in the water here. I want 21 exact. I'm not taking any. Aw, oh, geez. Um, how exact do we have to be? Let's just place it, pick it up, and now we have to heat it up. We're just gonna leave a tap running there. We don't need to worry about water. Also, I turned the burner on, so we're making sure we use as much uh, materials as we can. See, so we need to retrieve some malt extract from the fridge. Now, I said we retrieved two kilograms, but it looks like we have the full three kilogram thing here. Uh, do we have to take the lid off of this, or do we just pour? Oh, just pour that. Oh, that's a nice goop right there. And uh, just a little bit over, but that's all right. Uh, I don't think we have to be super exact. We just stow that in our inventory. Now we need to add some steeple grain. It looks like we just clip on our steeple grain on the right side there. Now I've seen a lot of stuff that's brewing uh, spirits and not really uh, beers. So it's a little different, but still kind of the same process. We get our materials in there, we brew it. And then I'm um, assuming we do some sort of distilling process maybe or maybe that's what we're doing here i'm not entirely sure so i guess we're going to learn as we go here and this is our watch feature so we can speed up and slow down time go all the way up to a thousand x so this is definitely gonna be a handy feature hopefully we get to maintain this throughout the story and now we're going to add our bitters into here to add some flavor so i guess we just place our two different ones in there and we boil for 10 minutes turn off the hob and we'll see what the result is all right and i think we waited 10 minutes uh i didn't keep track of time so hopefully uh that doesn't affect our pot too much looks like we can just place a pot of 100 degree celsius water in our pocket here i think we have to let it sit for a looks like a whole day so we'll just advance some time with our calendar here so we'll place our perfected beer obviously into um remove the lid first i keep forgetting to do that pour that right in there and retrieve our yeast and that's going to be our activator for the converting all the sugars and whatever else is in here into into the actual alcohol for the beer so let's just pour that right in there we're gonna put the lid back on and i think we just have to wait out now yeah wait 15 days looks like we made a full 100 days i wonder no we shouldn't mess it up that bad let's just get to the tutorial first and then we can mess around with whatever whatever features we want when we're actually needing to pay for it Whoops, a little, a little too much sugar in there. Again, hopefully that doesn't affect our uh, beer too much. It, I do believe adding too much sugar can make it a little sweeter. So maybe it'll be all right. Now we're transferring our delicious beer into a plastic barrel. I'm assuming this is just to let it sit for more time. And I don't think we're actually draining here. What did I do wrong? I definitely did not forget to um, open the lid again on this. And now we should be transferring our liquids here. And uh, we're just gonna use our handy dandy watch to skip past some time. That was a lot more time than I wanted, but that's actually a perfect amount of time. And uh, yeah, now we have to wait another 20 days. And after 20 long days of waiting for our delicious beer to finish brewing, we are tasting our beers here. So let's see, slightly hazy. I have no idea what any of this means. Oh, it actually explains it to us. All right, if any of you are interested in what all of these mean, feel free to pause on that. Slightly malty and sweet. Yeah, I'm expecting it to be a little sweeter because we did add 18 extra grams of sugar than we needed, but nothing too crazy. Apparently we got some notes. This game goes really in depth with uh, all the stuff that you can taste and uh, definitely all the ingredients you can add into there could be a bad thing. We could skip all this, but I think our first time we should see what our, our scores are gonna be. Four pages of, of notes here for grading our beer, which is pretty impressive. And give our delicious beer uh, a name. I think we're just gonna leave it default for now. If you guys have any ideas for names or anything like that that you'd like to see in this, I'd love to throw them in here. Uh, spice up our delicious beers here. Uh, we're just gonna leave it default for now but again if you want to leave something in the comments i'd love to put them on here and uh, include you guys in the video here so now that we have our delicious beer i don't think we can drink it 
or anything. It's just kind of here. So now we got uh, just past the tutorial here. We're still kind of in it, but now we're kind of making our own thing and straying away from the helping hands to the tutorial. Now it asks us to choose a job and I chose dark matter because it sounded the coolest. And we're trying to match our ingredients um, with whatever the job requires. So we have our display bottle here, which is our first one. I guess we'll uh, put that on the fridge. Um, well, it went somewheres. So uh, we have our ingredients on the right there and I'm checking them all off. Whoops. So that is very helpful. So we don't have to remember the entire process of uh, conditioning and fermenting and all of that. We just have to uh, read the instructions and follow along. So we have to buy our ingredients from the journal here. But I wonder if we end up turning our whole house into like a, a brewery or we actually get to own our own. So here we have our pinned recipes, which is great. We don't have to remember which uh, recipes we need to buy. We can just go right into here and add to our cart and we already have most of it which is nice because we already did that and let's head over to our cart which is 45 beer tokens i believe they're calling them and i think we get more after we finish brewing our beer so we pick up our amazon delivery here let's just store all of those wherever they need to be stored and now we get to actually start brewing our dark matter whatever that means if you guys have uh, any knowledge of uh, what these are if they're actually a thing in real life uh please let me know i think that'd be really interesting to hear about so let's fill up our pot here and get working on our second beer ever all right so i accidentally uh skipped a couple steps and uh heated up our water but i'm sure that'll be all right now we have to add our malt extracts and our steeple which uh, i believe these start adding some of the flavor of our beer and we've added all of our ingredients in this step into our pot here now it's picking up a nice dark color so hopefully that will bring us into that dark matter look that we're going for here i'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to look like but i'm assuming based off of the name it's supposed to be dark like this now i wonder if i should put the lid on when i'm actually brewing this because uh it looks like our liquid definitely went down a lot and i don't think we want to be losing all of our precious beer while we're boiling here so we'll, we'll keep that in mind for next time and we've added our hops and we've let her boil for about 60 minutes with the hops inside of it now i accidentally removed the uh, original hops which is the cluster hops there for uh, about <laughs> 50 seconds because I didn't realize that we needed to put uh, both of them at the same time and then remove them after the 10 minutes is up for the Ruggle Green Hops. Now, uh, if I remember correctly, the hops are just adding some bitterness and some other flavor notes into the beer. Now we let it cool and then transfer it. Now we're gonna add our SoCal Al yeast and then let it sit for uh, 15 days. And after that 15 days, we're gonna transfer it again. I think we add our sugars in at that point. And the sugar is actually what is creating our alcohol inside of the beer. Once it's reacting with the yeast, it's being broken down. So let's let this sit for those 15 days and then add our corn sugar in and see how she comes out. All right, and after letting our beer sit in this conditioning chamber or container for another 21 days, I'm ready to taste and package up for our next, uh, for our job here. Let's see how she comes out. Now it does look like it's got its color of darkness for the dark matter there. Carbonation, pretty good. Extremely hazy. I think that's what we want for this. I'm not sure. Some chocolate notes, some coffee, and a couple other things. Recipe match is good here. Uh, that is what we wanted. Unmatched stats, APV. We'll give it uh, our name here. We'll just call it dark matter. Very, very original. So we can get different bottles and some different styles here later on too. I'm not really sure how all these beers should be poured. I know they have their specific glasses for whatever uh it is so we'll submit that and i guess we'll see how the job turns out all right so we matched our job and we got a bonus actually for our mastery looks like we're currently a novice and we'll get our home brewer status next so we got another bottle for display here um i wonder where we should set these up if you guys have any ideas uh for where we should put them uh, i'd love to hear and then we can actually get them set up somewheres for now i'm gonna put these just kind of on the counter over here and I'd love to hear guys' ideas of where we should set them up for uh, display. So uh, let's get on to another job here. We already did our dark matter. Let's just do the only other job that we can do, which is a sensational citrus. So let's track that and get that one going. All right, I just finished adding our hops in our uh, steepables into our wort here or whatever it's calling it. And I just realized that we can't actually put a lid on it while while there's stuff steeping inside of it because it's hanging over the edge and that it wouldn't really make any sense. So we're just gonna wait for our current one to cool and um, transfer it over into our fermentation container. 
let it ferment with our yeast and then into our conditioning container with the sugars to hopefully get uh, another really good beer here. And after awkwardly standing in our kitchen for 36 days, time to taste our beer. Now I did add a little too much sugar again. Oh, foul tasting, oh no. I forgot to put the lid on our conditioning container and it looks like it actually evaporated over the 21 days that it needed to sit there. So yeah, so that one's a bust, I guess, but uh, it says we have to wait till the next season anyways. So it seems like it's very easy to fail our jobs here. Unfortunately, our sensational citrus is a, a bust there. So let's open up a, our magazine and see what the next jobs are. So we have a hop to it and a tragically good brew uh, on these next ones. I'll definitely make sure not to forget to put our lids on. I think this game is really interesting and I'd love to get more into the story uh, in our next episode. If you guys want to see more on this and you have any ideas for what we could do inside of this game to uh, add you guys in and decorate our place up a little bit here, I'd love to hear them. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more of my content and uh, get updated on our next video that we put out and with that i want to thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next one